And it says we're live. It lies even more. <laughs> okay. Let's change colors. It, and we've got a picture today. Oh, we do. There's something new and different. Yep. Okay, folks. Um, if you'd like, it's Texas. If you'd like to keep the air conditioner running, <laughs> donate here. Um, yesterday was heater. Today, air conditioner. Yeah. Also, if you'd like to re-roof after the uh, Mondo <sighs> hailstorm we had. Yeah. Send us money. Um, if you like coffee, talk to these folks. Remembering, we're doing a uh, anthology based on coffee with these guys. So keep that in mind. As you're drinking your coffee, write a story in your head. And I've got Geisha. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if we're going to do dibs. <laughs> I think we're going to have to like, do dibs, but we've already told everybody that you did Geisha. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I don't think anybody wants to fight with you over that one. So. If you like smart-ass t-shirts, tinyurl.com, among the leaves tees. Smart-ass t-shirts out the wazoo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, guys, we started with King Harvest. Apparently, this didn't go live right away. So. It did lie. Did it? Well, it, not on here. So. <laughs> anyway. Video oh, picked up a King Harv. See, I tell y'all it lies, <laughs> and you never listen. <laughs> if you would like, it's one more time. You like to keep the air conditioner running because, you know, it's 24 hours after we have the heater going. Or uh, replace a hail-damaged roof. Donate here. 24 hours. Hell, I had the heater on this morning. Yeah, right. I, was, we did too, actually. Yeah, it was cold. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much most of the day, my little home office there. And this well, while Ian morning. is opening a package that we got, thank you, AJ. <laughs> is this Ray J? Yeah. Oh, dear. Uh, the novel is up. Yay. Short stories. Uh, <clears throat> they actually didn't screw this one up. That you that found copy. so far. <laughs> that I found, yeah. <laughs> So, anyway. Uh, so, Jim, while he's digging with that, what's your favorite story in the short story collection? Oh. What's your favorite one? What's the most fun you write? Probably Zero Dark Thirty. Why? Because I was able to sneak some friends in that one. Oh, oh you mentioned it. has an expiration date. Holy crap, has an expiration date. That's kind of scary. <laughs> so does Simtex. <laughs> what? Yeah, I know. Lots of things have explanation dates, but he goes right to the explosives. Yeah. <laughs> and you expect something different out oh, of him? Oh, hello. <laughs> it's not Simtex. It's worse. <laughs> Pick a Peppa sauces. Ooh. Ginger mango, which sounds, sounds gingery lovely. mango. Your standard pick of pepper sauce, which, which I'm running out of. Stuff. I'm running out of that because I use it on everything. Spicy mango. I'm seeing a mango. Um, and hot mango, which is different from spicy, apparently. Now I want to read the um, label. So this means that uh, now we will have to do a testing next week. <laughs> I know. Thank you, AJ. Much appreciated. We've got like 25 damn sauces in here. Yeah. We should just set up a sauce bar at Fool's Con. Right? <laughs> <laughs> sauce All bar. All right. Well, people want to rant on this background, so. <laughs> ah. Oh. Oh, okay. you. Oh. Do we need a pointer or. or... I can get you one. Yeah. Pointer, Ian has a pointer. Okay. The first thing is. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. <laughs> this. Is not Cedar's responsibility. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on a sec. I'm going to get you a pointer. We got this offline. So you can be all official, Jim. <laughs> Jim has a pointer. <laughs> okay, first and foremost. <laughs> this is the main mast. <laughs> this is the main mast. This is a friggin' cap stand around the main mast. No. How? Cap stands are where the anchors are. How do you even swivel the mast? <laughs> You don't. <laughs> Wait, so what's Conan going to push while he's on deck? Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, well, and you can't really see it, but right up here hang on, is hang the on. end of a rope that goes nowhere. It hang goes on, up on. and does not come down and connect to anything. Does not go up. It, right here, does not connect to a friggin' thing. 
It just and the poop deck is angled up like a ski jump, for God's sakes. <laughs> and it's got frigging, I don't know what the hell these things are supposed to be, up on top of this poop deck. Now it looks like no. braziers for coals. No. Oh, well, it's a lantern of some kind. There's a lantern up there with these or friggin' guard things, whatever the hell they're supposed to be. Sculptures. Like sculptures, yeah. Almost like and figureheads, but wait, wait, in the wrong end. Yeah, and there's more. <laughs> the wheel has to be controlled by ropes, which, by the way, are loops that don't go anywhere. <laughs> And they would actually go down right where this door is into the poop deck. <laughs> and there are cannons over here hiding behind Ian. <laughs> there are four on this side. But there are only two on this side. And there are also cannons on the main deck, which... They normally go on the gun deck. Some of them had cannons on the main deck. <laughs> no, they were Some called carronades. They were much smaller. Also, <laughs> you have ropes here <laughs> right in front of an opening. This whole thing right here is open to, to the hole below. The, the Yeah. That's whatever you flogged at the gratings. That's the gratings people get flogged at. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's where you grill the shark. Yeah. So if anybody wanted to get one of these ropes, they would fall through into the next deck. Also, the blading pins. Yeah. The blading pins over here, of which there are way too friggin' many, don't even go through the rail, which they would normally do. They just kind of stick into the rail. Yeah, which doesn't work that way. And what the hell are these little short ropes for? <laughs> there is no such thing as a short rope on a ship. This is a ship that obviously has a discipline problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, and even better, there are one, two, three, four, five stays on this side. And there are two stays on the other side for the main mast. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's because they've been swiveling that main mast around. <laughs> <laughs> so, thus endeth the rant. The rant. <laughs> Ye gods. <laughs> if you're going to get something, at least try to find something that's halfway realistic. The thing is, though, and, and here's the thing, which is that we may have people in the chat saying that this is AI generated. And while I'm completely willing to exceed that that is entirely possible, especially if it was done with something other than Mid Journey. Yeah. Because while Mid Journey is bad, the other ones are even worse. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I actually think that this is even worse than that. I think this is a 3D render model. Yeah, probably. That somebody, yes. that somebody put together. Really? And, yes. Oh, wow. Um, it looks like a 3D render model. Yeah. And the, when the background, the fuzzy background itself is obviously a photograph that's yeah. been blurred. And Nancy, there, there is no bell rope. There's no bell. So, yeah, it's it's missing <laughs> HMS Dummy Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> it has an Elder Scrolls ship vibe to Dan Z. <laughs> yeah. And it's entirely possible um, that because huh. okay, so I'm just going to make a metaphor here. I think <laughs> this this ship is you know is a metaphor for the current state of traditional publishing. Yeah, that's not far from the truth. <laughs> well, and the other thing, yeah, I, I'm going to angle this back down, guys. Which I did not mention and should have. Yeah, uh, yeah, the yeah, guns the have no uh, restraining yeah. ropes on them. They also have no touch holes. Yeah, you'll notice. No touch holes. You'll notice. I noticed the lack of touch holes so, in your. So in your the thing is, all of their cannons are impotent. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Stop blinking those big blue eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could be worse. It could be like intern, intern Steve's cannon this morning. <laughs> oh, I love that. Blasting yeah, love that. fire out the wrong end. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Not going there. 
<laughs> All right, your turn. <laughs> well, I was actually just thinking that given what my news is, um, I should either have you repeat the parts of a ship rant for my son, who is now in the Navy. <laughs> oh, he made it. He signed in today. Outstanding. Or, given what he signed up for, not have you bothered because he's never going to see the exterior of a ship. What are you signing up for? Electronic Technician Submarine Services. <laughs> <laughs> his He didn't make it into his first choice because his math scores weren't high enough, which was a shock to we none knew of that. us. And, and honestly, I think that was the best thing for him, although I will make supportive, encouraging yeah. choices because I'm his mother. Um, his second choice was full. They aren't accepting applicants currently. And he was advised against his third choice as evidently it's incredibly difficult to rank up as a corpsman. Yeah. Um, so he and a couple of recruiters had a conversation about what things that he enjoys doing and has an aptitude for. And because he has a really high ASVAB score, he had a lot of choices and this is what he selected. Yeah. He has absolutely no idea what he's in for. None. Is he claustrophobic at all? Not to the best of my knowledge. He's about to find out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's about yes, to he find is. out. He's yes, he learn is. that he does not get to not clean up after himself. <laughs> yeah, and he's also going to find out when they shove his ass in a tube and close the door, mm -hmm. whether or not he's really claustrophobic. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I, I, yes. <laughs> I am very proud of him. I really am. I and mean, as an electrician on the submarine, and I hate to say this, he's going to be a second-class citizen because he's not a nuke. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. I know. He he. His plan right now, his goal is to do his first term and then go Mustang. He wants to get a degree and go back in as an officer and a nuke. And that will not happen. If he qualifies on submarines, mm -hmm. Navy policy, he will not be allowed to go back as an officer to submarines. Period. <laughs> Rafter says, I will not crank up the village people. I will not crank up the village people. <laughs> I, My I, thing with nuke with subs is I don't like sleeping in a pre warm bed unless it's Rita that's, that's warmed it. Yeah. I, I really, <laughs> or I, the dogs, <laughs> or the dogs. I don't want somebody else's sweat. Yeah, in my bunk. Welcome to hot racking. Well, I know, and this is also the kid that did not want a roommate when he had his own apartment. Briefly. Well, now he's gonna have several dozen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he'll have about hundred and thirty. <laughs> I, I I know he has absolutely no idea what he signed up for. Yeah. But he's about is, to find out. This is where he is, and this is what he's doing. And he I'm, signed the dotted line. Yeah. Oh, yep. He Go. signed. He swore today. That there will be a there will be a video available. The um, the OKC maps does a video of all of their their swearing in ceremonies and puts it up on their Facebook. So it wasn't uploaded last time <laughs> I checked, but <laughs> Rick, so. I'm not going to say I'm not. I'm not going to agree with you. I'm not going to disagree with you. Uh, Rick says he'll be in the office department as a conventional ET, so he will not be considered second class to the engineers, nuke engineers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. I mean, to my kid, they sold it as basically advanced electronics technician. He would get to fix all kinds of things. Hmm. You know, he has a real affinity for that. So I think he does. He likes yeah. to he fix does, things. So. And I mean, this is also the kid that has built several computers out of salvaged bits and pieces. Yeah. So he he has, I mean, it's not going to use his welding at all. Yeah, <laughs> not underwater. <laughs> did they, did, and Rick came up with another good, did they offer him E4 when he completes schooling? He will be going in as an E3 because he has a bunch of college credits already. Yeah. So I don't know what that means for after schooling. <laughs> But he will be going in as an E3. If they've offered so, him E4, it's going to be another two years on his hitch. So they didn't. I, he didn't say anything about E4. Yeah. Well, that, um, that's if he completes the school. Right. Right. He he's been promised a substantial 
bonus if he completes his schooling. And we yeah. all know that recruiters' promises are worth their weight in gold. Yes. Yeah, lying motherfuckers. Yes. <laughs> no, Jim told me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was being polite. I know. Oh. If I could find that son of a bitch and oh. kill him, I would. <laughs> <laughs> Girls really go for the guys that jump out of airplanes. Yeah. And how did that work out for you? I need morphine for my hips. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, at least he's not tall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Craig. It's Jody's. Rainbow, rainbow, don't be blue. My recruiter fucked me too. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, and the thing is that the kid went up there the early. Oh, my God. He left early this morning. It was like 3.30 in the morning. He rolled out. Yeah. He got up there and he went to do his thing and he got through the test, the placement test, and texted me that his score that he wasn't going to get nuke. Um, and then evidently sat down with a recruiter that wasn't his recruiter yeah. who wasn't up there with him. His recruiter he likes. I have no idea. We'll Poor see. boy. But he went up there knowing he was going to sign papers today. He just wasn't 100% sure what he was yeah. going to sign papers for. Um, and here's the kicker. He ships oh, out, there's another kicker? He ships out April 16th. Why does he get two weeks? I didn't get two weeks. I didn't either. I left the next friggin' day <laughs> on a bus. Sucks. Well, he goes back. Uh, he goes back up, and there's another ceremony. That one I get to go to, and um, and then they will put him on an airplane, not a bus. Hmm. Where's he going? Great Lakes. Great Lakes. Oh, that's true. That's Boot is in there. Great Lakes, and I think a school will be in Groton, Connecticut. Groton. 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 We know Groton. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, <laughs> so I won't see him for a considerable amount of time. Probably about a year. Yep. Yeah. You want to go? Well, <laughs> yes. We can see my sister while we're up and about. Yeah. Great mistakes. <laughs> yeah. Well, if, if if he was a queer tweet, it'd be a, a one year school. If he was a what? Queer tweet. Thank you. Army, <laughs> not military. <laughs> right. I got to walk to work, not swim. <laughs> Electronics has multiple ratings. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got ET is shipboard and our surface. Mm -hmm. Navy Air has AT, mm -hmm. avionics technician. Yeah. AQ, which is avionics. Technician for special birds. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Better known as queer tweets. Okay. Because it's AQ. Right. We used to have ATN, ATR, and ATW. Mm -hmm. Again, all three. And that was rates. smoke signals, semaphores, and yeah. telegraph. <laughs> and we actually used Morse code. We had we had to do Morse code on the airplane. Still had a telegraph key. <laughs> he was hitting a bell. <laughs> bong, 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 bong. No. <laughs> <laughs> On the P3As and Bs, there was actually a TTY with a telegraph key. The problem was there was not enough room for a full-size TTY. Mm -hmm. All the stone knives and bear skins take up a lot of room. <laughs> <laughs> So what they put on the airplane to be fat fingered by a bunch of 19 to 20 some odd year old kids in an airplane bouncing around in the sky was a TTY made for secretaries to use in an office. And this worked brilliantly, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After you learned to smack the pterodactyl on the back of the head and make it quit flapping for a bit, it was fine. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it was always fun because one of the other things you had to do was to constantly hit a key or hit the TT, hit the uh, other key mm -hmm. to keep the circuit live. Ah, so you're sending things that aren't actually signal. Carrier yeah. signal. 
QSM, QSM, QSR, QSK, mm -hmm. you know, or just sit there, tech, 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 yeah. on one key, not caring what it was, just to keep the, the system active. <laughs> and if you were lucky, that TTY might last two flights. Mm -hmm. Unless the radio man got pissed and started banging on it with her fist. <laughs> Ook! Yeah. Ook. Yeah. And uh. then the keys were all stuck together and bent. Oh, bronze mirror not doing right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, he will learn. He and will, yes, QSL. He will learn, <laughs> he will learn a lot of things. QSL, I am I. Yep. And I am hoping it will be good for him. Oh, one yeah. way or another, it'll be good. And and if nothing else, it'll be a source of amusement and entertainment to yeah. everyone else. Pricky seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Greg, I got more than once I got QRK, put a qualified operator on this circuit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, it was not my primary job. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was not a. We we had. Uh, oh God, what was it? What was that prick that we had? The guy that's polishing the bronze mirror. No, the the radio. I'm not. It wasn't a prick eight. I think it was like a prick prick nine. Angry uh, A N G R P R C nine. No. Okay. We didn't. We didn't have any of the angry nines. That was y'all. Uh, uh, I am now going to get the three letter acronyms from all sides. <laughs> Rick, I'm not sure, I'm not actually sure where ET school is now. Uh, the thing is, the Navy three letter acronyms are all made up anyway, so <laughs> at least ours makes sense. <laughs> oh, I need to make the child call his grandfather and break the news to him that he did not go Air Force. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. broken maintenance on a Model 28 telesite. Yeah. That's called kicking the piss out of it and watch everything fly up in the air and fall down. Yep. <laughs> I've seen him fix things. We'll hope he doesn't. Oh, ow. no, we're not going to. We're not going to discuss that. <laughs> I mean, as far as my child is concerned, <sighs> the upside of being on a submarine is that there will be no girls. Yeah. No. Because now there are girls. Oh, there really yeah. is it co ed. Okay. I didn't oh, think it was. Yeah. Oh, Lord. It's co ed on the uh, bigger ones. I hope like hell that he's. Uh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. ETA school is still in great mistakes. He's going to. Thanks, he's, Michael. He's going to. He's going to. He's going to learn. He's going to learn lots lessons of Lessons going to be learned. <laughs> lessons going to be learned. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Rick, that was back in the days when they were serious about learning. He said, Dad went to RT school, which is radio technology, on the Navy Pier during World War II. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. when you either learned it right then, right there, or you were gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You were you were a decade, most of mate. Mm -hmm. Glub, glub, I'm a sub. Yeah. Yep. Bubble heads? Yeah. I'm good bubble heads. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I am, I am, I am very proud of him, but I'm also. <sighs> <laughs> Go ahead. He's, he's, he's my baby and I love him, but there are times I do wonder. Yep. <laughs> he's 18 and, and, and is a there a brain in there? <laughs> no. no. It's there is still not. forming. It's a gelatinous blob at the yeah. moment. Now he's 18. There's only enough blood in the male body to run one head at a time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Rick, squids is the other thing we've been called more than once. Squidly. <laughs> yeah, the old New Jersey pulled in a dry dock in Philadelphia at the Navy Yard yesterday. Mm. So Texas is coming out. New Jersey's going in. <laughs> I love my squidly brethren, but they're a little odd. In the hole. What? <laughs> what? Texas is coming out. Jersey's coming in. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't fall in the hole. No, not, not, nope, 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 nope. 
Nope, 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 nope. I never grew up in the military at all. Rick says, being on a sub is like having a Mensa meeting in a biker bar. <laughs> Some sailors are a lot smarter than the average decade. Yes. Differ. Cedar, send him box of chocolate and basic. Everybody will love you. Uh, no. I'll help. I'll buy the chocolate. No. <laughs> oh, God. That'll oh God. be even worse. <laughs> Oh no! You will start him down a road. Dear, <laughs> Trust me, dear Squidly. Already on the road with his name. Yeah, dear Squidly, if you have problems with your instructors, please hand him a bag of these mints. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna have arms like that by the time he's done lowering yeah. the Great Lakes. Oh, the th I mean, the thing is that he will he he's a hard worker. When I go in and I talk to his bosses over here at Sutherland's, they have nothing but good things to say yeah. about him. And it, and it's not like they're just saying it because I'm standing there. They, I have had one of his bosses find me in the store to tell me how great my son is yeah. because he always does what he's asked. And then he'll go looking for more things that need to be done instead yeah. of circling. He'll off. learn to stop doing that. Yeah. Well, I realize <laughs> that, but... At least he's got that going for him. The chat would like a uh, uh, address for him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, God. No. U.S. Na Navy, 249 years of tradition, unmarred by progress. Yes. <laughs> that is a truism. Well, this kid is also the one that's into military history. Yeah. Which that actually is probably part of the reason that he chose the Navy because of some of the books that I know he's been listening to audio yeah. book. <laughs> Brian, uh, so. Cedar's uh, youngest sprogling has uh, decided to enter the Navy as a what? E.T. He's apparently the guy that uh, in Jim's days would be the guy polishing the brass mirror. So for the communications. <laughs> so what, what did I get the text earlier today? Because I don't think this is an actual like job description or MOS. He says, my recruiter pointed out an advanced electrical thing where I fix every kind of electronics and computers, radar, subs, etc. It's the, coffee maker. It's submarine computers, electronic field is what he was told. So I'm not 100 <laughs> percent sure what he's doing, except I'm pretty sure it's electronics, technician, submarine. Service. I'll, I'll get yeah. you his his recruiter didn't either, but it sounded good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, ET phone home. Yes. Yeah. No. Now that won't be an option if he's on a sub either. <laughs> <laughs> right. Apparently, he's doing a submarine service as an electronics repairman. He'll be working on the coffee maker a lot. Yeah. And this is not a child that even drinks coffee. Oh, he'll, he'll learn. He'll. Oh, well, I know he'll learn. In about four he years. Tea right now. In four years, he's gonna love him some coffee. Uh huh. Yes, Rick says sub ETs do get to fix it, everything electronic forward except the sonar. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's kind of hard to swim out and fix the sonar on the way. <laughs> don't tell, don't tell her kid that he'll try it. Well, and the other thing too is in the conversations of, are you sure you want to go navy? <laughs> he no longer remembers how to swim. I taught him when he was small. Uh oh. But it's been a long time. And I told him, has, I said, walk to work. I've never drowned an M3. <laughs> oh, he's had, he's had a lot of years where he wasn't willing to go in a swimming pool with, with just shorts on. We have a hail damage inspection going on. Oh, we oh do. Okay. okay. Hail damage inspection is a good thing. So. Oh, hail. Yes. <laughs> we had a golf ball sized hail. I, I, I wasn't here for that. I was down in Dallas. So. Um, either Jonna or Rita posted a picture uh, or a video of the rainstorm we had, and uh, Jim posted a video of the hail. Yeah, uh, I think Rhea posted one uh, taken out just outside the window, mm -hmm. and you the water in the front you couldn't see it because it it looked like C State Five. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was it was interesting. Um, my son was at work when it, the weather started. Called me. If you want to see what it looks like, I've got a video that was taken a block away from here. Yeah. You can, yeah. Um, my son called me and said, there's bad weather. I'm going to hang in Wichita Falls and not go home yeah. right away because he didn't want to drive through it. Yeah. And then he wound up the getting a co-worker a ride home. So the guy didn't yeah. have to so walk in that. Oh, yeah. 
And so then he you and the co-worker, he's still on the phone week, with right? me, he's standing yeah. out in the co-worker's yeah. yard, yeah. and the two of them are talking oh, about, yeah. oh, oh look, it's trying to make a funnel yeah. car cloud. You need this video, There's another right? one, <laughs> and I'm yelling <laughs> into the phone from the hotel in Dallas where I was, find cover, oh, phone, get under yeah. cover. <laughs> but no, they're going to stand out there and watch the you. attempted funnel clouds. Your son's a Texan. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so proud. <laughs> funnel clouds, get a beer. I'm saying Mac broke. And then he finally gets you home airdrop set up. and yes, goes sir. to check on the chickens for yes, me, sir. which I appreciated. Um, and he sends me this picture of the hail in the backyard. My garden looks like someone took the lawnmower to like everything. My mom, yes, sir. Um, my poor lime tree, because lime have that rigid leaf. Uh -huh. So the lemon and the orange mm -hmm. kind of bent it. and didn't necessarily yes, get sir. busted up with the hair. Right. The lime so is yeah. practically defoliated because the rigid leaf Snap resisted yeah. the hail and just busted off. Sorry about so, that, folks. <laughs> that's all right. I figured I'd natter who you took. We had golf ball sized hail here. Yeah. Yeah. And I was, we were safely in. We had gone down early so we could go to yeah. Cindy's New York Deli because, oh, the food there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Down Periscope's the best submarine movie, the same way Galaxy Quest is the best Star oh, Trek movie. I don't know if he's seen Down Periscope. I know what we're watching tonight. <laughs> <laughs> he will be embarrassed as heck to watch that with me because there's a bit in that. <laughs> well, hey, if, I knew, if I knew where your place was, I would go check on your shed. <laughs> Yeah, we had Wally. We'll have make sure that um, Jonna ha takes a peek at it because she goes by it on her way to and from work. Well, okay. Jonna's been working long hours, so I don't think she's gone home in the daylight recently. But we'll make sure that she does. Brian, he's going to where all the squids go. Great mistakes. Yeah. Great lakes. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Don't wash your khakis in hot water. Yeah. True. I was army. I mm, navy was. I can't do this all the way back. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Rick. Pirate COs, pranking officers, weird crewmen. Yeah. Same thing with aviation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, you're almost out of uniform. Yeah, that was a good comment. <laughs> Yeah, that was a that was a fun movie. Oh yeah, I remember laughing myself silly over that one. So I definitely have to show that one to him, given what he's doing to oh, himself. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Red October, which I'm not sure he's seen either. Yeah, that's I've been told that's not a great sub movie. But anyway, um, it's probably not a great sub movie, but it's a good movie. Until no. Red October. Yeah, it's a good movie. I said submarine movie. Yeah, well, we weren't being that critical. Yeah. <laughs> I had a few comments about the movie, but oh yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> One of these days, we should do movie watching with military men, kind of a la the Mystery Science Theater 3000. No, um, no, no, <laughs> no. See, because I find that amusing. <laughs> Jim gets bitchy because they took the hand-operated uh, propeller that he remembers in the Hunley out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stole the XO's door, Rick. Yeah. Um, well, there was a submarine in the Revolutionary War, so therefore there must have been anti-sub warfare going yeah, on at the, the same time. Yeah. So, <laughs> actually, Rick, I want to say it, it was. Uh, I want to say that George Washington actually had a screen door on it. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I always thought that was just a joke. No. <laughs> And we got Aspro's attention one day because they did not like to acknowledge that the attacks on them were valid. And we had these little things called practice step charges. 2.2 mm -hmm. pounds of tetral. Significant little bang. I mean, it's not yeah. like throwing a snapper at them. That'll ring the hole. <laughs> Especially when you tie three of them together. Oh. <laughs> really ring the hole. We'll do it. And it lands in the conning tower. Oh, I'm sure. Pure friggin' luck. Oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> but they did come to the surface. You make your own luck. Yeah. <laughs> and then we stuck a uh, torpedo in the side of the Aspro. Were you, were you trying to get somebody's attention? You, according to them, yes. Mm -hmm. 
No, they wanted to court martial us. Uh, what happened is that that was the day we found out that the turnaway mechanism had to make a 270 degree turn to actually activate Ooh. on the ex -tor exercise torpedoes. Ooh. And we had a video of it going in the water 90 degrees off heading. And it made a 180, saw the sub, and activated. Like you do. So the turnaway never activated. So it went in and banged off the hull twice. Cool. And then hit the sail. So so my unit on the roof looks like Swiss cheese. Oh, no. Oh, joy. Oh, wow. But I don't have to pay for that. So. Well, no. I mean, that's the perk of renting. Yeah. And... Uh, <clears throat> the sail door on that class of boat was fiberglass. Oh. And it hit the sail door and went through it. Oh. And they came up, and there is a photograph of the torpedo, the extra, Hang hanging up. out of the sail. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, Rick, they did. <laughs> We had all kinds of fun with them, uh, and I use that term loosely. Well, it was fun from our side. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, there were uh, a number of strange instances back in the day. Strange. <laughs> well, including a fight at the Enlisted Club in Jacksonville one night. A fight at the Enlisted Club was Oh, strange. no, there was a fight at the Enlisted Club. <laughs> well, it was strange because... <clears throat> Either a hand grenade or a practice depth charge was set off in the club. Oh, yeah. Okay. That would be. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Army enlisted club. <laughs> and Jim, Jim Todd goes again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? <clears throat> Maybe the Army did that routinely. The Navy, not so much. I wouldn't say routinely, but. but they did haul a few people off that night. I will say that artillery simulators. In, yes. the, in an NCO club, will clear the club out with quickness. Yeah. <laughs> artillery simulators, you pull the cord and you fling it. Yeah. And a damn thing sounds like an artillery shell coming in, that whooping whine. Yeah. And then goes bang. And uh, that'll clear a, that'll clear an NCO club with a quickness. Kind of like flashbangs, except oh, yeah. louder. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, okay. Um, allegedly... This allegedly, uh, if you should happen to put a flashbang down the vent hole in a porta potty, yeah, when it goes off, <laughs> it will breach load whoever's on the uh, commode <laughs> at the time, or so I hear. So, Rick, what you're saying is Four they put cedar. it down in the bilges, <laughs> four seater, <laughs> yeah, she's turning colors <laughs> <laughs> and leaving a little. I'm sitting here doing handwriting exercises. Yeah. Because... Oh, blue juice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's what the, uh, <laughs> that's where the blue rain comes from is when there's a leak in an airliner. Yeah. I have heard stories about, large, very large ice cubes falling from a yeah. airliner yeah. and through someone's roof, if that wasn't an urban legend? Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> we uh, did drop a sauna buoy in a guy's swimming pool up in Oregon once. On purpose? No. Okay. Oh, darn. Because <laughs> that would have been really good shooting. <laughs> <clears throat> moderate, well, what we called moderate turbulence. <laughs> oh, yes. And... Uh, <laughs> One came out of an SLC and hit the swimming pool and turned it bright lime green. Yeah, because they do a dye pack, don't they? With a dye pack, in addition to bunching a hole through the bottom of the swimming pool. Uh, well, I'm well, sure yes. the Navy bought him a spiffy new pool. Yeah, they did. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, we got chewed for that one. We're going, hey, we did. It. it was fine when we took off. It wasn't there when we got to on station. Mm -hmm. We called it in. Mm -hmm. You know, what the hell do you expect us to do? Go back at 100 feet and look for it? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it's not like something bounces out of the back of the truck. You can't like turn around and go back yeah. and find it. There was Dan. There was a, a time when uh, a certain young NCO in command of his first M3 <laughs> um, had an oopsie when he was extremely sleep deprived after 72 hours of being awake. Yeah, and um, on the M3 Bradley, the the M242 chain gun, 25 millimeter chain gun, there's a center console. And you can flip a switch. And since it's chain-driven, it's dual sprocket drive. You can feed from a high uh, ammo can or low ammo can. High, if I remember right, and it's been a while, high ammo can was APDS. Low ammo can was um, um, HEI, high explosive. Oh, behind the in the heat exchanger? Oh, God. And uh, there was a switch on the center console you could flip to choose between your levels of happiness. <laughs> and this young NCO, track commander, might have been a little sleep deprived when he saw a cow. And since he was tired of eating lasagna, MR, uh, lasagna tea rats for two weeks, he and his drunken stupor decided to center punch this cow. Mm -hmm. And flip the switch the wrong way. And center punch said cow with a 25 millimeter high explosive incendiary round. Hamburgers. So you cooked it's the hamburgers <laughs> <laughs> and went, fuck, more oh, lasagna. There's a children's story about raining meatballs. Yeah. <laughs> I Meat think chunks. I know where that started. Meat chunks. Now. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. Because that bovine to auto. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I have a question. Yes. Because I don't know the answer to this because I don't I know virtually nothing about the Navy. So obviously MREs are the thing that most of the service gets. Yes. What the heck do they get on a submarine? MREs. MREs, MREs on yeah. a sub. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. That is the last ditch, trust me. Oh, I'm sure, but I mean that means everybody's already they've gone through all the food. Mm -hmm. They've gone through all of their stash. Mm -hmm. Pogi bait. And now right? they're down to friggin' MREs. Do the uh, does the Navy call it pogey bait too? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll have to find out what's good pogey bait because I'll have to figure that. Vienna out sausages. Way. If he's army, it's Vienna sausages. Just send him Vienna sausages. That explains some <laughs> things about my husband. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pogey bait would be for the Navy would be chocolate or peppermints or something like that. Mm -hmm. Every E four I ever had, you know, he he would have a trunk in the billy on the back of the track and half the trunk would be um fms the other half would be friggin um uh vienna sausages i yeah. don't know why <laughs> the up uplisted bison marines need to tell that as an ancestral story they're still looking for payback for. <laughs> <laughs> meals rejected by ethiopians yeah meals ready to eject oh MRE. no that takes that takes peanut butter and dr pepper <laughs> Three lies, the price of one. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was never in the military, but they inflicted some things on us Civil Air Patrol cadets that probably shouldn't have been done to minors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, educational experience. You survived. Suck it up. We did. We learned <laughs> things, which is why I know that my son is in for a treat. Yeah. It won't be a good time. <laughs> Scum weenies. Yeah. Yes. Ramen and jerky. We weren't we weren't on the ramen because ramen required uh, water, which we didn't often have a lot of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Sanford still talks almost wistfully about the flavor of Lister bags. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I like. I'll disagree with you, Greg. I'll take these sea rats over the early MREs any day. <sighs> See, when we had sea rats, and they were at least Vietnam era, if not earlier. Um, I remember some of them as actually being decent. Yeah. Like the, the fruitcake was Yeah. Well, was good. bear in mind that I've got it beaten into my head that uh, the leader eats last. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when I became an NCO, I followed that because mm -hmm. <laughs> I learned that I ate last, which meant... <laughs> Then I got there after E3s, E4s, and rat fucked the MREs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which meant I got the little brown bags of hate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pork patty. Pork patty, pork, dehydrated, not for in flight, pre flight use, he says, wistfully looking up in the ass end of a C 130. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, Winkle Red, what what you wanted to get Red Sea rats weren't bad, but you really wanted to get the French French. French. <laughs> because the French sea rats also had wine in them. French were well, they were some good yeah. food. No, the, the I, I made one flight with the French ASW squadron. Really? In the Atlantique. And coming off station, they broke out the wine, the bread, and the cheese. And I'm going, huh? And they mentioned one particular officer was not going to be allowed to partake. And I went, why? Well, he has to stay sober to land the airplane. <laughs> Besides, he's on the shit list. Uh, <laughs> they asked me if I wanted to go to the next test. No, I got somebody else can go. <laughs> the patty pork dehydrated, not for in-flight, pre-flight use. And the patty beef dehydrated, not for in-flight, pre-flight use. Yeah. <laughs> on a more cheerful note about cheese oh, we uh, we seized the opportunity of being in Dallas for testing which was inconclusive yeah. but um, we wanted to go to the Middle Eastern market because we are yeah. out of good feta Yeah, and I wound up at a different Middle Eastern market because the one we'd been to we were using when we lived down there was significantly further away from the hospital than I wanted to just jaunt out in between appointments. Right. So um, went to this place and um, found they had the good Bulgarian sheep's milk feta. Yeah. Oh. And I picked up a couple of other things. <laughs> and then I wandered through the store because I had a half an hour to kill. And um, <laughs> yeah, I indulged myself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rick said uh, brownies are very popular in boot camp. But you need to pack enough for 30-plus hungry men. He's obviously never seen me cook before. <laughs> she's I not going to take care of that. She's not going to send <laughs> packaged brownies, folks. In that case, this turkey diced with gravy was great. Turkey uh, diced turkey. Yeah. The one I liked was the beef stew. Beef stew was good. The uh, four fingers of death could die screaming. <laughs> um, Surplus North Korean dollar store off-brand Vienna sausages. Yes. Yeah, mm. four four fingers of death. Yeah, uh, disgusting, um, really disgusting. The uh, tetrazzini, no, no, no. And the uh, chicken killer king, excuse me, chicken a la king was uh, disgusting also. Yeah. One I couldn't stand was the tuna noodle casserole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the other one was a friggin' chocolate because that stuff was developed for the desert in World War Two. It didn't melt worth a damn. You so couldn't my, break it. You would break a damn tooth before you'd break it. My great uncle worked for Hershey. Yeah. Um, for his entire career. So 40 odd years. Yeah. And by the end of that, he was quality control and would travel the world inspecting different sources of raw materials for Hershey. Yeah. And every Christmas, we would get these big packages full of candy, yeah. including in the mid-90s. Yeah, it had to have been the mid-90s. They were developing chocolate for um, use in Iraq and Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. um, so it was supposed to tolerate up to 120 degrees Fahrenheit yeah. without melting. And that stuff was weird. Yeah. I mean... We would get experimental candies that never hit the market. <laughs> yeah. Um, the sucky thing was if it was actually something good, not the high heat chocolate, yeah. but if it was something good, it was chances are you'd never, ever see it again because it was one off experiment <laughs> they were going to produce. But yeah, that was, that was weirdly um, waxy. <laughs> yeah. Michael says, my boy Scott True created a song about flight rice and chocolate nut rolls. Oh dear. The words diarrhea featured prominently in the refrain. Yeah, well, I mean, it was yes. Boy Scouts. It's yeah. <laughs> scatological. <laughs> yeah. It's just going to be part of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and, uh, <laughs> and speaking of bad food, um, with the other place that we went, because we had an appointment up at Fort Sill yesterday. Where they have tightened security, which was interesting because really? for the first time they had they made me go to the visitor center and I had to actually do the whole shenanigans. You don't have to get a, a ID card? 
I do not. They've given me an application for a caregiver thing. So I will be acquiring. Um, but um, so yeah. the after the appointment, I always try to take Sanford out to eat. Yeah. So we went. There's a place called Muti's German Restaurant up there. Oh, yeah. Muti's. Yeah. No. No. Just don't. No. No. Something Sadly, named after, after your mother should be great. It was, it was, they were trying very hard to be German beer hall, um, oh, right dear. down to uh. the long rows of tables with lots of chairs along each side. The problem is that all of the schnitzel was breaded and deep fried and not in fresh oil. Oh, and oh, the dear. paprika sauce that I have was congealed. Oh, um, yeah, it was, it was not good. And we were highly disappointed because. We'd been looking forward to doing this. We'd finally yeah. had an afternoon appointment where it lined up that we could go there. And sadly, <laughs> <laughs> the government overreaction to COVID killed yeah. the local uh, German place in Ichipaw. Yeah. There's supposed to be a good one up in OKC that we're going to try and hit sometime when he has an appointment all the way up at the hospital. That's Brian just actually just posted that. It's placed oh. in OKC. Yeah, cool. So. But, I mean, that's part of how I keep him motivated to let's go to your appointments yeah. is we always try to get a nice meal. Yeah. When we have, I mean, when we were in Dallas, we went to the uh, the New York Deli down there because we'd been there once before and there was good food. Well, it's um, always the one good meal requirement. Mm -hmm. yeah. I need to find a, a good Moroccan place down in the Metro Mess. Yeah. Yeah, well, we Peter didn't... found that one. Yeah, in Houston. Yeah. yeah. That might be a little far to go. I don't want to go to Houston. Might be a little far to go. However, since uh, Virginia whetted my appetite for Nando's, <laughs> isn't there uh, one in Arlington? There is. Yeah. We actually were talking about that. Nando's. Yeah. We uh, <laughs> we were thinking about it, but by the time we were headed home on Monday, he was too exhausted. Too tired. Yeah. yeah. Actually, we were bummed because we were going to go to Sweetie Pies and Decatur. Yeah. And they were closed. Oh. They closed from two to four. Yeah. So. Mm. Yeah, Sweetie Pies and the Cater is a great little. Yeah. Uh, the home of the chicken fried ribeye. <laughs> yeah. That's oh. a level of ridiculousness. Oh, yeah. But it's good. It's big, but it's <laughs> I good. I was going to say, we have to at least share that. Yeah. There's no way either of us can finish it. Chicken, chicken fried ribeye. And they used to, they don't do it anymore. They used to take these nice fat taters and then wrap them in uh, craft paper, in brown paper, yeah. and drop them in a bubbling vat of pine pitch. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so they pull it out, and set it on the set it on the side, uh -huh. and so the, the the tater would bake and steam at the same time. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one I wanted to do, but their hours got silly after COVID, was the Whistle Stop Cafe down there in Decatur. Yeah, because I went there years ago with Dorothy and Peter, and it was amazing. And I've been trying to get Sanford down there, but they're open basically just for breakfast, just during the week. Uh, yeah, and I work, so that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, they take a ribeye, they pound the snot out of a little button, and then they this lovely and <laughs> chicken fry it. And oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Yeah, that I think, is. I think I've uh, I think I've uh reset Wallbanger. Yeah. <laughs> chicken fried ribeye? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. When you get that move down here, Wally, we're gonna get, be taking you around to the places where we like to go to eat. And then we can take Jonna too. Yeah, because I've been here for two years and we've been to two of them. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Uh, mirrors. Yeah. Mirrors. Mirrors is worth going Mears. to. Just yeah. just for the cheeseburger. Trust me. Place. And I Bill's the catfish. Cat I haven't been to the catfish place. We yet, need to fix that. So. We need to fix that. Now we got two days before Saturday. <laughs> the problem with problem with Bill's is we've got to get up there early. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you have to go during the day. Yeah. We got to be up there no no later than five thirty. Yeah, because yeah. the yeah. line is already out the door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same thing with mirrors. You got to get there at a good time. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Mirrors is the one time we did get up there was interesting. We were lucky. <laughs> Yeah. Um, there's the uh, plantation house and the riverside at um, Medicine Park. Yeah. Which oh, is Medicine a. Medicine Park's so cool. Well, Medicine Park's a lovely little village. It really yeah. is. I took myself there. So, because. You know. 
um, the the German places in Munster. Yeah, yeah. I, that's where I've been wanting to get over with Sanford. So. Yeah. Or if really worth it, trip down to Winthorst General Store. Winthorst is about that big. Yeah. It's a it's a little German hole in the wall. Hole or wide One spot, of three. Wide spot in the road. Yeah. And they have a general store that was the first building built on that site. Yeah. It's been a general store, and it's it's built solid. It's built to resist Indian attacks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's been a general store for yoinks. And they go in there, and they do lunches. Yeah. And the lunch is they slap a uh, burger or a uh, sausage on a bun and say, get out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, oh, the, the sausage on a bun at, at Winthorst is just... Vin, Vintors, excuse yeah. me, Vintors. Um, it's yeah, just Padre, Hodad's in San Diego. That's been a Navy place since it opened. Uh, had more than a few lunches in Hodad's. And that's another place where the line is out the friggin' door down the street. Yeah, the uh, at Munster, you've got the Schnitzel place and you've got the Beer Garden. Both of them are good. Yeah. Also, Monster is great for um, Oktoberfest because they put up some bloody huge tents and they start feeding people. Yeah, because they're German and they do that. Doug's Barbecue in Amarillo, yes. Red River uh, Steakhouse in Amarillo. Yeah. Um, hell, Amarillo. I don't know that I know any of the good places, but Amarillo, Amarillo is a foodie town. Yeah. Uh, when I was there, Emerald was a foodie town. It was actually cheaper to eat out than it was to cook your own food. So it was a foodie town. The first place I had, huh, huh, I took Rita to this this yeah. place. And she just sent <laughs> Doug's Barbecue in Amarillo. Yeah. <laughs> they uh, they took a uh, uh, avocado and they pitted it and cut the uh, skin off of it. They stuffed the middle of it with shredded chicken, and then they put it in batter. And they fried it. Oh. And it was so good. Yes. How do we keep ending up on food? Because, because we like to eat. Yeah. <laughs> food is love. Because food is love. Well, none of us are exactly skinny. <laughs> <coughs> nope. And. And. <laughs> Have a good one, Wally. I mean, I can And we'll get somebody to go by and check on your shed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, John checked, checked it. Apparently, it's okay. It's still standing. Yeah, it's fine. It's still damage. standing. Well, it, there was the hail was highly localized, so it's entirely possible that yeah, yeah didn't it was. Get any hail it was. Uh, I was about. I was about business. to say earlier that the hail was actually just an Iowa Park thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the hail and we got a lot of rain here. So in Wichita Falls, and this is a switch from our usual, but in yeah. Wichita Falls, they got like maybe half an inch. Yeah. Here. My rain gauge read a little over an inch and a half. Yeah, in like so, ten minutes. Yeah. Um. So yeah, yeah. My uh, my big water barrel tank thing is starting to fill up nicely. Yeah. Slow like bar food. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, slow like bar food. Street food. Yes, street food all over the world. Yeah, you mm -hmm. are. Although uh, monkey on a stick. Although. <laughs> Even well, if it did add four legs and a tail, still monkey on a stick. <laughs> Monkeys have four legs. Yeah. And most of them have tails. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, I just realized my poor child is going to travel the world and never <laughs> see any of it. Nope. Because <laughs> he will be a hole in the water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, look. There is people out and back down. <laughs> well, he's he got to be a good boy if they're going to let him look through the periscope because that's... Yeah, no. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Brain worm song. Why? <laughs> oh, Padre, I hope you enjoy the picnic and there's no crazy uncle there, unless you're him. Like back to monkeys. Monkeys, <laughs> monkeys need to die. There's no good use for monkeys. And on that note, we're done. We've wasted another hour of your time. We're not going to do that friggin' around again. <laughs> oh. West Pack deployments go some interesting places, Japan, Australia, and then you can wave at them as you go by. Yeah. Under the water. Japan, Australia, Korea. Not my thing. Vietnam, not Thailand. My, not my jam. Hong Kong, Singapore. 
Diego Garcia, Bandar Abbas, Iran, Karachi, Pakistan. Ugh. Yeah. <clears throat> I remember my brother one time going to the Barrington. In Australia. The Barrington. Uh, uh, there's a, a center that's basically it's a museum of touchy stuff for the kids. Yeah. And one of the things was you had a smoke generator with a ring around it. And you press the ring down and it made this little mushroom cloud going up. <laughs> and I went in one time and the uh, my brother got in. I went to the bathroom. He was off doing it. Chris is off doing his thing. And there was a, a museum docent doing this. Because there's my brother at the smoke generator going, Karachi. <laughs> New Delhi. <laughs> Karachi. <laughs> Uh, oh, no. uh, well, thank you all for watching and chatting and raising hate and discontent with us. We always appreciate it. Yeah, we do. Even though even if we don't, we, yeah. we say we don't. We do. <laughs> and remember, don't sweat the petty stuff. Don't bet the sweaty stuff. Be safe, And we'll guys. see you later. Be safe. Bye-bye.